Oh, don't kick my crabs, Becca, don't do it. Dude, you are so savage. <laughs> oh my God, you can triple, triple up, triple up on crabs, triple up on crabs. <laughs> First lobster roll in Maine. I told him that. <laughs> well, good morning, guys. We are out here at our campsite, about to get ready to do some fishing. As you can see, I'm gonna take you down to this little trail right here. You got some beautiful crystal clear water, and uh, it's quite crisp this morning. I believe it's like 46 degrees. Last night, it got down to about 35 degrees. It was an absolute bombshell as far as like me being freezing cold uh, I got to a point where I was like sweating and then I took off my my layers and then I was like freezing and shivering it was a pretty epic night but the reason we are here is for beautiful adventures like this behind us beautiful Clearwater Creek and down that way there's actually a waterfall so right now this is just our camping site we're about to get all of our gear together about to make a little hike down that way and start Clearwater fly fishing and some ultralight fishing in search of some northwestern trout, a species that I've never caught, either rainbows, browns, and there's potential for other species, but the most two that we'll be looking for are rainbows and browns. Let's grab the gear, get ready for the day, and see what happens. See, this is such clear water. I can see, I think I see one. I see something in the water over there. Scouting it out right now, guys. I think I see one. It might be like a soda can though. with that back cast boys doubt I'm gonna get anything there but I'm learning this is only like my second or third time fly fishing I'm trying to take advantage of it while we're in a location that's a little more abundant with fish that like eating flies especially because I suck at it so you got to practice somehow right <laughs> Get this out in the open then. I can't get the S going. There's S's you can do like this. Trying it out, I suck at it. And then you can go for it. That's horrible to get it. Okay, I'm gonna stop embarrassing myself and just do some normal fly counts. Alright guys, we're gonna go try out the next spot I think real quick. I haven't yet to have a single looker or biter or thumper or even sight of a trout, so off to the next spot. All right, guys, we have just got out here to our next spot. Had to drive a little bit. We are now up in the White Mountains, and I'm about to see some beautiful mountain water for the first time. Look at this behind me real quick. I'm just gonna do a real quick pan. This is absolutely gonna be one of the most beautiful places I've ever fished, honestly. Look how clear this water looks. Oh my God. It's insane. Let's get after it, guys. I'm gonna probably just fly fish a little bit, maybe go up in these little rapids and try to run off of that, let my line dangle right over here in this little area. I'm not too familiar with what would work, but uh, that's what we're gonna go with. I'm gonna just trek through some of this clear water. Look at this stuff, man. Crystal 
clear water. This is insane. This is beautiful. There goes nothing, guys. This is what I wanted to do while we were up here the whole time, honestly. Get on some cool trout. This one I've never actually caught before. I'm gonna get a little drift line going. And feed it back, see what happens. rock that's creating this like vortex of water if there was some trout they need to be right around here yeah i got way too windy in this corner for fly fishing well guys i think we're gonna have to head out to the next spot but man has this place been a sight to see it is so beautiful here. It's like I want to catch a fish just to say I caught a fish in such a beautiful place. But I think I'm willing to accept the loss today at this spot at least. And uh, still try to conserve the time we have and head out to the next spot. Grab you guys and talk to you face to face a little bit. There we go. So yeah, unfortunately it seems like nothing at this location. But just take a second real quick embrace the beauty of this place i mean i've never seen anything like this and we obviously don't have anything like this in texas so i'm going to be humbled with the no fish and just be happy to be able to uh, absorb this beautiful location all right guys we just got to our next spot i have no idea where i'm at or where anybody else went pretty sweet right here Oh wow, there's a spillway over here. Oh, they're down there to the right of me. Yeah, they went further down. I thought they went down that way. I just couldn't tell. We're in some super brown water. I'm gonna probably micro finesse a little crankbait. Got a little BFS bait caster with this, which isn't the best for getting out there in distance wise, but it's good for catching a little fish. So I'm gonna probably put on something that we can actually crank out there. Try to dial this in a little bit. Todd's on something. I heard you say trout, but oh man, my boot got water in it. She's like, is it a smallmouth? I'm like, Oh, no. <laughs> a little rainbow? Heck yeah. That's like a pretty rainbow too. Look at the spots, dude. Yeah, it's lost a lot of color. Oh my goodness. Get a look at that, guys. Thank Todd, the beautiful I came in clutch, rainbow Bob. trout. Look at those spots <laughs> on the bottom. It was going, it went through, go past me, right? Yeah. Becca got bumped right now. I'm still working my way. I'm gonna work down on this little chop, little slack area. A little deep pocket of water and see if there's anything right here. Fall a little bit and just slowly retrieve this little spin bait. It's like a little rooster tail, a little inline bait. getting over here to the spot guys trying not to fall in the water and get all my camera gear wet do not have my waterproof bag with me up here so minimalizing oh there was a frog trying to minimize anything bad that could happen 
I don't know if that's gonna work right here. Yeah, I had to take my jacket off. I'm sweating now. But we're here. This is a uh, definitely not an easy place to fish, I'll tell you that much. But it's one of the most beautiful places I've probably ever fished, if not the most beautiful place I've ever fished in my entire life. If you just look all around us, just beautiful nature, man. And then you got this nice spillway with the mountains in the background. This is honestly amazing. We'll have to catch a fish here. Let's see if we can get something going. If not, Todd's got a trout that we're going to do a catch and cook with later, so. Let's see your beautiful, uh... Yeah, we've uh, rinsed her off, rinsed her out, scaled her, gutted her. We're going to hit it with some uh, of Becca and I's favorite seasoning, the oldest Old of Bay. these. Slamming salmon. So then, good! Uh, we're going to hit it with some olive oil, because Becca can't do butter. Wah. Well, and I don't feel like buying butter, and I always have olive oil on me. Makes sense. There's your guy. That's my boyfriend, actually. Silly him. Get this oil real hot. I want this thing like sizzling as soon as I get it. Ah. Are you seasoning the outside and the inside? Oh, you bet. Okay, yeah, baby. well, if you're a skin eater, which is ah. like really good on trout. Skin so. on the trout. So I love skin. I big skin girl. I like too. to wear people's skin. Yeah, yeah, it's one I of mean, my hobbies. I mean, that's basically. Crispies. Look at that. That really does look really good. Oh my goodness, get in there, Bob. Go ahead, rip a big piece off, dude. It literally tastes like chicken. <laughs> like, I know I've, I've, I've heard people say that, and like, that, that tastes like fried chicken, bro. This is amazing, guys. The skin on this fish. You can hear it crunch. Yo, it's all about the skin, dude. It's mm. all about the crispy skin, <laughs> Zed. Becca, get on this. Mmm, chicken. That good, thanks. This is honestly the best rainbow shot I've ever had in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, you know. Pretty good. Trout crispies in the White Mountains, folks. All right guys, so I think that's gonna kind of conclude today's adventure. Stick around though, we got plenty of stuff coming around. Uh, you know, we tried to target trout today. Unfortunately, only one of us got the trout. Beautiful rainbow trout, delicious tasting too. That crispy skin. I mean, this is probably the first catch and cook I've ever done where we cooked that thing within hours of catching it. So really impressed. Honestly, I did enjoy it. If you guys enjoy stuff like that, let me know in the comments below so we can definitely get some more catch and cooks or anything like that that you guys might be interested in. Just let me know. It's it's fun. If you enjoy the fly fishing, if you enjoy the creek fishing, let me know. Let me stay updated and keep you guys entertained. But uh, that's going to be it for today's little adventure. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you learned a little bit more about what you guys can do out here in the Northeast. And we'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.